Hey everybody, this is Evil Jess, and we are playing Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. Um, so I have played the Five Nights at Freddy's in the past, I've just never recorded it, and I know a lot of people would probably love to watch me scream in terror, so I decided, what the hell, let's play this for you guys for Christmas! Early! So yay! So yeah, get ready, I hope you enjoy this, because I'm not going to. Alright. Is that a pizza? Huh. No, we're just gonna make a pepperoni. I like pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza's good. Go to pizzeria. Alright. There we are, yeah! Eat your pizza, kids! Fucking kid, if you can eat a whole pizza that size just by yourself, no wonder childhood obesity is a fucking problem. So, I'm waiting to be terrified here. I'm not seeing any terror yet. I was waiting for like, you know, Chico or Bonnie or, you know, Golden Freddy or Springtrap to come out and murder my ass. You know, some kind of crazy shit. Waiting for that. There it is. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like really waiting to be terrified here. Uh, oh, what the f- Hi, Freddy. Sucker. I'm gonna aim for their feet. Fuck you. Alright, let's see if I can beat this motherfucker. He's not letting me get to the top three, which is really odd. Wait, did the pizza stun him if I hit him? Looks like it. Huh? Yeah, it does. Aha! So that's how I beat you. Ah, I gotta stun you with the pizza. Maybe three pizzas and then you fuck off. Yeah, baby. Give me that pizzas. Give me that pizzas. There you go. Stunned. Oh, yeah. What the? That kid's head just got huge. Oh, what the? Sh okay, now I'm throwing Freddy's? What? Um. Error? Error 9000? What the fuck is going on? Uh. I'm not doing anything. Okay. All right, the fun part's over. Oh, go fuck yourself. Yep. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What do you want me to do? Because whatever it is... Oh, God! Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, the one. The fuck? The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, what? but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. What the fuck Follow is paragraph 4? Follow these instructions, four? document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Uh, unsure, because she didn't seem to Begin do Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Yeah, 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 you're a little wussy ash. You. You're result. playing this little brother. Uh, Begin audio prompt unsure? in three, two, one. She ain't doing shit, brah! Like, fuck this! She's like fucking Pennywise's fucking girlfriend! What the shit? Document results. I'm sure. Begin audio prompt in three. I'm just gonna say. Oh. Two. One. What? Oh, she she looked at me. Ah! Uh, it's a new fuck? day. 
It's your time to shine. No. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You know, I watch a You've lot of employee training your videos. Life. This Great. is actually a now lot better Now it's time to put all, all your eggs into one basket together. and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking like about said, becoming a fast beer entertainment a franchisee. Training videos I've seen. That's right. I love Restaurant to see the fast ownership beer and of management. Sexual harassment something video. almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it, and that means it's safe. Nothing to lose but college tuition. If you're a new <laughs> investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, a house, including some bench, a small room, and... some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and, and animatronics much, much more. Children. Now, let's take a look at a few things That's that will creepy. help you get started as that a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. Such as yeah, atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting is atmosphere so is essential to bringing uh, in new customers. It's not real cheese. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, money which means hurts. more money in your pocket. Ready for reinvestment. Yo, Health and cool safety. There may be times when you purchase something of I'll questionable quality. It. And we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued I can for it. reduce and casualties. To no, you can't. Liability. Yeah. Being a thrifty shopper is smart. So it is. Is. You might die. Uh, might? How about a Will? Certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased <laughs> with that steeply discounted price tag. Yeah, I bought of this course, from a voodoo priest. That would priest. only be a serious danger Can't if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. <laughs> this concludes the amount of help oh, we're legally God, obligated like, to that, provide. That's a face of Remember, somebody who wants to you ask you are if now you the want, face like, of the newly like candy. branded Freddy hey, Fazbear's kid, Pizza. Like candy. Wear that smile like with candy. pride and let's make some we money. We all float down here. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Step two: How to two-step guide to register. use catalog to purchase items. Use blueprint mode to to place animatronics. Okay. Um. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's. Oh God. Day one. I have. Let's made see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should be more bucks. than enough. Yeah. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. Dumpster dive you can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business really for the day, get the click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Duck Pond, no. Bucket Bob, Mr. Can Do, Mr. Hugs, Mr. Crank Pizza. What? Okay, the fuck. I want to get the crate with the balloons. That's definitely going to be that. Alright, next. Do I want the ball pit? Liability risk one. <laughs> Colorful cups and plates. Uh, we'll buy the stage. Can't do sanitation. We'll buy discount cooling. I really want to do this. <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Hugs, what the fuck? <laughs> Number one crate, what the fuck? Alright, we're definitely by the beer house. Okay, the fuck. Alright, I'm just gonna go into blueprint mode. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Sponsorship offer. Uh, feature pop 
station. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Alright. There we go. Yeah, now we're cooking. We upgraded to a larger area. Alright. Let's finish. Let's see what happens. I've got a bad feeling about this. Your restaurant is now officially open. <laughs> awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. Fuck! You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care fuck? of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash. So don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Yeah. Now, on to other matters. Yeah, I love this Something to be here. aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. Oh god, what that the fuck? Oh what? There's nothing in the vents. Creepy fucking However, clown. If you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. Right. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, That's however, weird. that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Oh yeah, go fuck Now yourself. get to it. Oh, Simply log the... off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can and go not get some coffee. die! God. Order supply. Of course, it's fucking dial-up. Goddamn thing trying to murder me yet. Fuck. I am fucking paranoid already. I'm just listening because I know something's gonna try and murder me. I just, I just know. Nothing's. Oh, activate scanning. Sorry. I didn't realize that. I have to activate the fucking scanner! Scanning, scanning, scanning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't look like anything's there. I just love in the creepy clown artwork. It's so good. So good. Come on. Just let me order shit. Get the fuck out of here. Please. I'm hearing something. I'm not hearing shit. Okay. Come on. Order the napkins, come on! Mr. Bucky, what do you say? Yeah, I can only do one thing at a time, fucking fast bear cheap motherfuckers. No ventilation stuff. 
making enough fucking noise to have something come murder me! Yeah, print posters. Look on you, cutie. Yeah, it's that fucking creepy ass bloody clown motherfucker. If there's any secrets I can click on around here. Oh. Okay, that's cute. That's probably gonna get me killed. Yeah, that's, that's probably gonna get me killed. Come on, friends! Damn it! the toilets. Yay. Yay. You know, you actually have to go out into the store and do this shit. Clean the ovens. Just making sure no death is coming for me. This is gonna be fun, they said. This is gonna be great, they said. Go the fuck away! So help me God. So help me God! It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. How about I just burn the fucking place to the ground and collect the insurance? How, how, how does that sound to everybody? Does that sound good? Congratulations on completing your first day. However, fuck? your job isn't over just yet. Oh, God damn it! There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. What? Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts. What is which can paragraph mean four? A much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. And but burn it. You get no money for the salvage. Toss it into the to acid! It, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. Uh, if you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. Oh, During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the Ah, it looks pretty damn you. unstable for me! Use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Kill it! Kill Before it! Before you is Kill an it. animatronic Kill found it. in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. Kill it! it is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, yeah, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic Ow. and decrease its value. Kill this motherfucker! Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Say yes. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. 
ain't doing shit yet. Document results. Begin audio. Behave yourself. Bitch. I saw you move. I saw you fucking move. Your prompt in three, two, one. What you gonna do? Yeah, shock it to make it behave. Yeah, that works well. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. No, I don't want to. Document results. I'm zapping your ass. You better sit the fuck back down. Yeah, you look at me wrong, motherfucker. Look at me. Look at me, motherfucker! Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. results you have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage well done Ugh. end tape yeah bye thanks for letting me join the party I'll try not to disappoint new lawsuits yeah! New law- no new lawsuits! I am awesome! Oh shit! We definitely need- we definitely need more good stuff. Cause I mean, we got that party coming, so we definitely want to make sure we have the money for things like this. Ooh, pretty maze. Swivel hands. <laughs> Ooh, neon stage lights marked down. Yeah. Sturdy stage. Ugh. Sturdy stage extended. Give a traffic light. Happy frog. Mr. Hippo. Oh, great. We get. Oh, yeah. 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 That's great. Let's do the sturdy stage. Not the extended, just the extended one. Play test. I'm curious. 
here before I die. I love the little kid's face flash. That's not creepy. Not creepy at all. creepy. Oh, your face is creepy. What is that thing at the end of this fucking maze? Yeah, woohoo! I'm so much faster! Ah, oh, cool! I can pass through walls? Yeah! Oh, give me that bitch. Oh, yeah! Guardian. We are fucking rocking in this game, yeah! Did I just break the game? What the shit? I got this fucking magnet? Oh, yeah! This thing is, like, stuck in a wall or something. That would've sucked. Oh, my god. myself up for pain. I know I'm setting myself up for some severe pain here. Uh, candy gadget. Uh, I mean, he gives me bonus revenue. Alright, let's see. We'll get the net there. Oops, smiles and servos! Oh boy! I had a ball pit tower, carnival hoops, riding rockets... Oh, a lemonade clown for 97 bucks. Purchasing bulky item in the game becomes a lot of risk of something undesirable hiding inside. How about fuck and no? But we will get the fruit punch clown. Oh, I can't buy these 490? Shit. Neon jukebox. Oh, med stations. Yeah, always. Security doors. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we are good. Let's see. Don't worry about the animal tracks. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, finished. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Alright. I think that's gonna be it for me today. This is Evil Just logging off. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye Thank <laughs> you.